A stiff forearm from Tessa for a big cutter. And down goes Kara Hogan. And Tessa is feeling herself the knockouts champion. Kara Hogan has a lot of ground to make up here. But it looks like Tessa's calling for the end. She needs to move out of the way quick. That hammerlock DDT. Center of the ring and down she goes. Let me get a replay of that one time. Look at the impact on the head. She is out like a light and Tessa's gonna go for the pin. Will she retain her impact knockouts championship? And that she does. Another fantastic defense by our reigning impact knockouts champion. Wow, I don't know who's... What's that? Is he, is he, you guys hear that? Showing up on the big screen with quite a lot to say when she's thousands of miles away. But I get it, it makes sense now. She's waiting, she's picking her moment. And what better moment than to seal the spotlight of the Impact Knockouts champion? What better moment than to face Tessa Blanchard for the Impact Knockouts championship at Bound for Glory? That's the match you want, you got it. But I'm gonna tell you something, that moment, that moment's gonna be a disappointment. And you want to call me a bitch? At Bound for Glory, I'll show you one. Tonight is a special night at Bound for Glory as Tessa Blanchard has accepted an Extreme Rules match against Tokyo Cyber Squad's Jamie Fatal, and she is putting her Knockouts Championship on the line. We could very well have a champion that doesn't even work here by the end of the evening. The Knockouts Championship is on the line, and now we are getting underway. Tesla are going to try to pick up Jamie early. Not going to happen. We have quite the two athletes in the ring here this evening at Bound for Glory, presented by Impact Wrestling. As Tessa now has Jamie on the ropes. What is she doing here? Oh, she's tying her up and going to town. I wasn't too short. Backbreaker by Tessa Blanchard. And Jamie is out of there. Uh oh, Jamie's going to that place, and Tessa's feeling good herself. Extreme rules. So anything goes. Nobody is going to stop them from going outside and beating the brakes off of each other. Oh, it looks like Jamie's looking for something underneath that ring. What do they got? Let's see. A steel chair in hand. Unprotected headshot to Tessa Blanchard. I can see we're going to get a little extreme tonight. Big half and half to Tessa. She eats the floor on the outside. The padding's not going to help that much. And Jamie is back in the ring with the steel chair as she looks to capture the Impact Knockouts Championship here tonight. Old chair back in hand. Jamie made Tessa Blanchard think she wasn't going to use it. But I'll be damned if she ain't. Second rope now for Jamie Fatal. Big splash, but Tessa puts up the knees. Tessa has had one hell of a run since coming to Impact Wrestling and has dominated as the Impact Knockouts champion. And as you can see here, she is not afraid to get her hands dirty as she has the steel chair. Tessa now, big headshot to Jamie. These women are gonna, she just tossed that thing into the crowd. What is going on? Off the ropes goes Tessa. Big Liger kick knocks her down. As Jamie goes from the apron, big splash, but she almost, what was, she almost went to the damn ring. What was that? She gets some sort of special abilities. Big deadlift German from Jamie as she gets back in the ring. And it's just a one count. Unprotected headshot after unprotected headshot. And it's only a one. 
Tessa with the reversal. Jamie trying to go for the overhead shot. And a big slap. Tessa showing off that she's the queen around here. What is Tessa going to grab from underneath this ring? Oh, she's got the equalizer. Jamie tried to stop her, but Tessa zoned her completely. She going to go for the pin? No, she's not. And once again, oh, okay. Oh, they're both saying just bring it. Okay. And now they're both back into the ring. It looks like Jamie's going to flip her over. Pump handle. Jams her into the ground. Up goes Tessa. She is not ready to go out. Throws Jamie off of her. Throws a clothesline and knocks her to the ground. She tries to follow up. Up goes Jamie now. Tries to get something started. But Tessa once again with a big lariat. Both these women big and strong. Cutter from Tessa Blanchard. Does she want the hammerlock DDT? Does she want to end this match right now? Oh, wait. Jamie going to be able to reverse drop toe hold. Turns around. Oh, no. But another Delift German. <sighs> no, that's not going to be enough. Tessa up to her feet now. Wait a minute. Jamie Fatal. Disconnect. Is this going to be it? She's going to become the Impact Knockouts champion. No. <laughs> Just a two count as Tessa is able to answer the call. We almost had a new champion, and Jamie's not even fully signed to Impact Wrestling. Oh, what a suplex from Tessa. What is she going to grab now? Doesn't look like she wants the equalizer. She has something else in mind. Jamie trying to find some way to get back to her feet. As Tessa has got a table. What does she have planned with that? Whatever it is, Jamie does not want to let her use it. Big kip up as Jamie is back into the mix. Table is going to go up now. What does she have planned with this? She grabs her. Whoa, look at the strength. Didn't put her through the table. But maybe she has something different planned. I guess we will see. Tessa able to stop Jamie from getting her on that table, but a drop toe hold will put her down. Jamie goes for the follow-up. Not going to happen. Turns Tessa inside out with the reverse DDT. As Jamie is looking to fly top rope, she goes. What has she got planned here? Wait a minute. Big moonsault, but the knees are up from Tessa Blanchard. Once again, that moonsault just being taken out. And speaking of taken out, wait a minute, Jamie, back to her feet. Tessa's able to stop her really quick, though. The neck is going to halt all momentum. As Tessa gets out of the ring, she does not want to get hit with that comeback. Does she want another weapon? Tessa wants another weapon. But wait a minute, Jamie's up top. She's going to fly. Big kick, but she missed. Oh, that is not good news. That is not good news. Cut her to the floor by Tessa Blanchard, the Impact Knockouts champion, now in full control as she carries Jamie Fatal over to the barricade and sends her right into it. Tessa is now putting the pain in. Jamie able to stop her into the barricade she goes now as Jamie starts to go to town and Jamie was able to get out of a scenario that I wasn't sure she was going to be able to to be honest what is she oh and the table's on fire we have a flaming table it's really about to get crazy in here Jamie going back out She's got that steel chair. Oh, she doesn't want it, though. What else does she want? Jamie now pulling. Oh, the ladder. The ladder is coming in. What does she have planned with this? Down goes Tessa. As she moves her out of the way. What is she going to do here? Oh, tries to grab her, but Tessa zones her, and a lariat will drop her. She's going to go for that trifecta lariat, I think. She's going to hit the third one, and yes, she does. 
Uh-oh, into the corner. Now drop kick not going to land as Jamie was able to get out of the way. Here we go with a combination, but nice move from Tessa. But Jamie sends her up against the ladder. Tries to grab her, not going to happen. Into the ladder goes Jamie, but underneath Tessa misses. These girls are going crazy. Tessa reverses the big forearm. Where is she taking her now? Into the ropes. Sends her flying back into the ladder. And Jamie is right back out. And Jamie's feeling it. Back into the ring she goes as Tessa looks on. Oh, but wait, Jamie was able to grab her. Oh, we saw this against Momo, the big DDT off the apron. Jamie putting in the damage. And a big fatality. And it looks like Tessa is out. The crowd is loving what they're seeing. Back into the ring now. What is Jamie? Oh, it looked like maybe she was trying to do something, but Tessa was just too close. Big suplex, but Tessa got out of it. And into the counter, Tessa Blanchard. She is looking on now as she tries to get her wits. I'm not sure what she has planned, but a hammerlock DDT is definitely in the future. I can tell you that much. Jamie trying to crawl away. But Tessa is right on her. Nice reversal from Jamie. As she tries to go after Tessa, sends herself into the corner. What has Tessa got here? Suplex into the turnbuckle. Uh-oh. That hammerlock DDT. Jamie rolls out of the way. Drop toad. Wait a minute. STO through the flaming table. What is Jamie doing now? On top of the ladder. Moonsault from Jamie Fatal! A one count! What? How did she have the fighting spirit to kick out of that? Jamie going back to the top. But Tessa sends her flying! Oh no, she's gonna go for the pin. And just <laughs> How in the world? What is Tessa doing now? What is she got planned now? Big elbow misses as Jamie waits for her. Clarity! And she's got the pin, no road breaks! Oh, just a two. How? How is Tessa answering these calls? And Jamie, one more time, Clarity again, she's got the pin. Do we have a new Knockouts Champion? <laughs> How is she doing this? How is she kicking out? I don't know what Jamie has to do. But Tessa does not want to lose this Knockouts Championship. Jamie on the outside now as she looks on, trying to grab something from underneath the ring and another table. Tessa said, you can bring the table. You're not beating me. Oh, Tessa reverses. Maybe that STO coming up. Oh, but the nice zone from Jamie. But she's out cold. Big cutter. And the table goes flying to the crowd. And Jamie kicks out. Wow. What a kick out. As Tessa is going up to the top. That's quite the distance. I don't know if she's going to be able to hit whatever she wants to hit. Big senton, but Jamie got the knees up. She got the knees up. Oh, but Tessa with the big kick and a slap to Jamie before she sets her up. Hammerlock DDT coming up. Center of the ring, Tessa Blanchard. 
is she? Oh, she's gonna get the pin. Tessa's gonna retain her Impact Knockouts Championship. But wow, what a match. Tessa literally kicking out of everything. Jamie taking Tessa to her absolute limit here at Bound for Glory. But at the end of the day, it looks like Tessa Blanchard is still your Impact Knockouts Champion. We have quite the match lined up for you this evening at AEW Double or Nothing as Tokyo Cyber Squad's Jamie Fatal faces off against a new signee here in AEW, Hikaru Shida. Let's get this no holds barred match underway. Oh, Jamie going for the punch but getting zoned by Hikaru Shida. And Hikaru is in control here early. She's got her on the ropes, literally, but oh, nice reversal from Jamie early on as she picks Hikaru up now and going to town. Nice European uppercut here. Both these women freelancers. Jamie Fatal, Mexico, Japan, the States, now here in AEW, just recently impact. Hikaru Shida all over the place. Ice ribbon, Gato move. I mean, you've literally been everywhere. Anywhere that you could want to see her, she's been. And now she's here in AEW. Jamie off that second rope. Well, she got planned here. Big European uppercut since Hikaru Shida to the floor. She's picking her up as Jamie is in control of this matchup. Where is she sending her into the corner? Nice hammer throw, but Hikaru Shida tries the answer. Look at the strength, but Shida said no. A nice high kick there followed up. Big suplex from Hikaru. Both these girls just showing off so much prowess. A big knee strike now as Hikaru's gonna go down. You're gonna see a lot of knee strikes. You do not wanna see Shida breaking out that Tamashi no three count. Gonna get up just a one. We're still in the feeling out process here as Jamie Fatal is going to town. She wants to get out, goes for the Liger kick, but Sheeta's gonna be able to reverse. Big kick to the chest, and Fatal is on the floor. Sheeta going for the midsection, and now she's just playing her own game. Just playing her own game, the methodical breakdown of Jamie's body parts. Very smart. Up to her feet now, Jamie with the big knee. Second rope, but Sheeta saw what was coming and gets out of the way. Very smart. Ring General-esque. Oh no, but Jamie's gonna reverse in the corner, but Sheeta saw it coming. Threw a kick up, throws a punch. Reversed by Jamie Fatal. Big Liger kick and down goes Sheeta. The crowd is electric for this one and we haven't even gotten anywhere yet. Both these girls are just playing each other so well. Jamie Fatal. Around the ring, another drop kick. Drops it, Karu Shida. And Jamie, oh, she wants her to get up. What does Jamie Fatal have planned here? Through the ropes, no, Shida catches her with the spine buster. What a reversal. Shida now into the turnbuckle. What are we gonna see here? Top rope now, Hikaru Shida. She has got Jamie set up for something, and this is about to get dangerous. Hikaru Shida with the superplex, and she keeps control. She did the deal, the focus arrow. Nobody, <gasps> Jamie Fatal kicked out. Nobody kicks out of the Falcon's arrow. The crowd is in disbelief. Hikaru goes for the big kick, not gonna happen. Jamie whiffs a kick, Hikaru fires back, but Jamie throws her up against the turnbuckle. No, Hikaru reverses again. This is no holds barred, and these women don't even want weapons. They have a point to prove chips on their shoulder. Hikaru slowing things down, double foot stomp. Look at the follow-up kicks here. She goes for the pin on Jamie Fatal. 
fighting spirit, not even a one count. Jamie is not ready to lose, and Hikaru is getting pissed. Fighting from the floor, Jamie Fatal sends Hikaru down. Big Liger kick drops her like a sack of hot rocks on a hot August afternoon. Hikaru Shida now going in the corner. Goes for the kick, but she ducked out of it. Jamie says she doesn't care, Yurinagi! Sends Hikaru Shida down. Second rope for Jamie Fatal now. She looks to follow up. Big splash, but she was too far out. Thankfully, Hikaru Shida is out cold as Jamie is able to get right back into things without too much of an issue because that could have been bad. Out she goes. Jamie Fatal to the top rope. Going for the Memphis fist drop and he's shit. Izaguri will drop her now. That is not good news because Hikaru Shida is going to get all up in there. Shida now in full head control. Just trying to get all the blood rush into her head. A midsection kick. A big slap from Shida. And the kicks are coming in. Big knee. Where is she going to take Jamie Fatal? Where does she want her to go? Oh, she wants her back in the ring. I think Hikaru might think she has this all wrapped up. Nice move as she looks to follow up. Oh, a knee! Like I said, you're going to be seeing quite a bit of those from Hikaru Shida. Uh-oh. This is not good news, whatever it is. You do not want to be on the ground for a prolonged period of time against Hikaru Shida. Off the ropes. Jamie, no! Look at this! Wow, what a reversal from Hikaru Shida. Impressive. Off the ropes now. Shida with the big knee. And she is feeling it. She is on fire. Jamie said no. Just a one count. Hikaru knows those knees are lethal, but Jamie Fatal is a whole different demon. This isn't good. Looks like Hikaru might, uh oh, she's setting up. Tamashi on no three count. Is that gonna be enough to put away Jamie Fatal? And no, the two count kick out. Hikaru is livid. Wow. That usually puts away everybody. Hikaru now from the top. What has she got planned here? She's calling Jamie to her feet. Oh, wait, but Jamie caught her! What the hell is it? Look at the strength! Oh, no, but oh! Look at Hikaru able to get out. Jamie Fatal just showing off strength. What the good lord! From the corner goes Jamie Fatal! We have never seen that from her! Off the ropes, big knee strike! It looks like she's telling her to just bring it. Hikaru up to her feet. Jamie Fatal! Disconnect! The ref is down for the count! And Jamie Fatal does it! The disconnect was enough to put away Hikaru Shida, and that is the kind of action that you will see here in All Elite Wrestling. No goo goo gaga 30 minutes of wrestling in a three hour show here, people. We got the goods. Two of the absolute best going head to head. A big win for Jamie Fatal, but nothing, nothing bad against Hikaru Shida. She put everything on the table here, and the crowd is showing their respect for both of these women. An impressive outing here. I still cannot believe that Jamie Fatal was able to get out of the Tomashino three count. But that she did, and here is your winner here at AEW Double or Nothing. Hey, Triple H, I just got your message. What did you need to talk to me about? No, not yet, but coming back to the WWE is something that I have talked with Jamie about, and she is open to the idea.
Sounds good. I'm sure she'll be happy to hear about this information, so thanks again.